What's up guys, I'm Tyler Casey and today I'm going to walk you through on how to make looping GIFs right in Premiere Pro. So recently I was making some GIFs for our website Senate Packs and I thought it'd be cool to do a tutorial teaching you guys how I kind of created these. They're pretty useful to have especially on websites so people don't have to click play. It's pretty cool to actually make these in Premiere so I'm going to teach you guys how to export them, how to make them looping and I'm also going to show you how you can use Senate Packs to make some pretty cool looping GIFs as well. So let's get straight into it. Today I'm going to be editing in Premiere. All right, so I'm in Premiere Pro right here. I'm in a 1920 by 1080 timeline. I just have this regular drone shot. This is fine for the GIF, but the way this is gonna work if you watch, this is what it's gonna look like. I have it on loop playback, so it's gonna play through and pop back at the beginning. It's gonna be a hard cut. So what we can do is we can duplicate this right here and we can go to speed duration and we can actually reverse it. So we'll see instead of a hard cut, it's gonna reverse back and then it's gonna jump back to the beginning and it's gonna reverse back. So that's a little bit smoother. So the way we're gonna export a GIF is you just hit Controller Command M, we're gonna to go to Export, uh, and then right up here you're gonna have Animated GIF. Uh, it's not gonna export audio, and there's a few settings here. You can check this box. Uh, the quality really doesn't change the uh, size of the GIF. So the way I use GIFs on my website is I use them to kind of show how the product works and people actually don't have to play it. So that's the cool thing about that, but my website only allows certain size GIFs. So sometimes I have to play with different sizes to make the file size smaller. So sometimes I might have to type in 800 here and it'll change my aspect ratio and make it lower quality. Every website might be different, but you also want it to load quickly for people. Play around with different aspect ratios. You port in any aspect ratio, one by one, 16 by nine. So if I typed in 800 here, it's still gonna lock this and we get 800 by 450. So let's just say I'm gonna export that. So now checking that out, it looks pretty solid uh, for a GIF. It's not the best quality, but it definitely gets the point across. Sometimes you get some weird stuff up in here. But overall, it looks really good, especially for just playing back and forth on a website, kind of as like a picture image. Another cool tip I actually have is using our Cinepax, and I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool looping GIF that kind of tricks people and they don't know that it's looping. So you can use any of our effects here. Uh, fire effects will work, paper effects, money effects, any of these will work. Um, mainly the transition, so paper, money, fire and paper transition, maybe even paint effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut in between two different clips here. So I'm actually gonna use uh, stuff from our Paper Effects 2 sample pack. So we have this cool duct tape rip right here, covers up the screen and then rips. This is how we're gonna transition back in and then maybe just in between scenes, I'm gonna do this quick little crime scene wipe. So we'll watch crime scene wipe. Let me scale this to frame size is 4K. Let me crop it in a little bit. So that transitions us. And then once that gets fully covered, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right there. I'm gonna move that back to the beginning of this clip. And if I come here and set my out point and then make sure I have a loop playback on. To turn, off, to turn on loop playback, just click that plus, find that little icon, set it, and then you can drag it right in here. So now when we play this, it's gonna rip open in the beginning. It's gonna wipe across to the next one, cover up the entire screen, and then open up to the golden gate. And this is a looping GIF right here. So this will kind of trick people and it's just gonna continue to play and play and play. And it's really nice, it's pleasing to the eye and it works pretty good. So you can export this, put it on a website, put it wherever you want. You can do any type of aspect ratio. So that's how you create GIFs in Premiere Pro. It's pretty easy to do. Also, make sure to subscribe so you can see future videos and make sure to like this video. I'm Tyler Casey. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.